so happy. I know, right? I wonder, there are people who ever use the Megaton Hammer in here as well, I don't really see the um, purpose of that. Hmm. I mean, the bigger on sword, especially with stab is so much stronger than the um, Megaton Hammer. I mean, I believe if you go to Gandalf and use the Megaton Hammer, you need 20 hits, and if you use the bigger on stab glitch, you need um, 5. So it's 4 times stronger. And people use the hammer here. Okay, one more hit, one more hit. Okay, that didn't quite work. One more hit, come on. Die. There we go. Yay! Yay, I know. And now I can. Oh, there's a chest up there. A small chest. What would be in that? Bombs, rupees, arrows, or hearts? Bombs, I think. Let's see. Wow, you can actually read mines, it actually bombs. Yeah, I guess. Damn. Well, you're the Link fan girl, I'm not the Link fanboy. <laughs> so I really <laughs> It's no surprise that you actually know that. Or you just made a guess, I don't know. Actually I did just guess. I don't have this whole game memorized. I've never even 100 percent of this game. <laughs> oh. Please help Big Brother, I released the final Goron. And I got the big key so I got the boss coming up. Yay! Finally the boss. I love this boss battle. This boss is the second favorite. Me. Yep. Twin Rova totally rocks this boss. But this one's cool too. Twin Rova is so much funnier though. When you recall their magic against them and then slash away. That's funny. Yep. It's better than a largest dragon which you can only hit once at a time before it disappears again. Because that plane sucks. You know, the, the annoying thing about the Master Quest, by the way, is that the routes are changed. You need to follow a different route than you're used to. And that actually pretty much sucks. Huh. Yeah, I've never and played Master Quest. I'd love to play Master Quest. In fact, I almost bought the Master Quest version of Ocarina yeah. Time, but the only reason why I got the Collector's Edition instead of the Master Quest version was because the Collector's Edition had Majora's Mask on it. <laughs> I got um, Ocarina of Time 64, Majora's Mask 64, the Collector's Edition, and the Master Quest version. Yeah. So yeah, I've I got, I got yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, I've got those so, three except for the Master Quest. But I'll probably get so, Master Quest if I can find a cheap copy. Uh huh. So, anyways, are you ready? Yep. Let's do this. Let's go, boss time. And there's actually a really cheap trick on this boss, and I'm gonna see if I can pull this off. It prevents a lot of hits. So, anyways, we're here with our large ass blade, and the floor is shaking like holy crap. What's going to happen? Oh boy. Oh dear. And my platform is gone. Oh no. And it seems like we got a problem because there is lava. And oh, holy shit! Subterranean lava dragon Volvagia appears. Volvagia is pissed off. Oh well, dragon appears. Particle Wii sends out Link. Go! Yeah, okay, that didn't make sense. I mean, uh, stupid Pokemon in uh, the pressure for the Wing. Actually, it kind of fits because um, I, I actually always nickname my Red Gyarados Volvagia. Yeah, I know. Oh, wait. Hammer, hammer, not not to bring on sword first. So it reminds me so much of Volvagia. Huh? I said it. I said the red Gyarados reminds me so much of Volvagia. Yeah. You know, I guess. Let's see if I can do this trick. trick. Apparently, if you duck on the floor, Volvagia will just fly around the circles, and you cannot hit. Him. Huh? Let's see. Oh yeah, it actually works. Oh, that's so funny. He's just he's flying around the circles above my head. Oh, that's cool. And well, you can see it in the moment, but it actually saves me a lot of trouble running away from the dragon. Yep. That's awesome. Okay. And second hit. There we go. It's either two or one more hit, which I need to do. The moment the rocks are going to fall, I'm overall. There the rocks are for those. Over. Let's see. I'm gonna do... Yeah, I can see rocks coming. I can see rocks coming. That's a good sign. So I actually need to avoid these rocks instead of the dragon, because Volvaga is not even oh there it is. But he immediately burns into the lava, and there are rocks falling on him, and I don't understand why. Ugh, this is a bit annoying though. I've read I read almost 45 minutes. Can we do it in 45 <sighs> minutes? Don't you burn me, don't you burn me. Let's see if I can No, take this. There we go. 
Oh man, I actually thought I'd miss him for a second. I actually did miss, but I managed to get him on the second hit and now it's over. And he's gonna fly out again. As you can see in the stream, he actually hit me and I missed, and then I was like there. Nice. And I got rid of him. So, that's the only thing about dungeons though. The dungeons are pretty tough for one, but the bosses are always not that difficult here. At least not in our green of time. Alright, we're at 45 minutes, exactly. Wow. I actually need those side things for um, three water temples as well, so it's gonna be four episodes. Yep. I fought three max, but I guess it's gonna be four. And I got a heart container, I got 16 hearts, which means if you add one for the water temple, shadow and spirit, I only need four more heart containers. Nice. And I'm getting out of here. I'm transforming into a big rupee. Oh, and I should mention that uh, a wild Volvakia has fainted. I didn't do that yet. And oh, holy shit, that one is gonna erupt. Oh, and boy. the man is blown away and he's like, what's going to happen here? I'm and I can so still hear the away. dungeon music. And the sky is good again. Even though it still looks like that mountain is erupting. Which is weird. And we're in the chamber of the sage, which means we're gonna do more badass um, voice acting. Well, actually, pretty badass voice acting, but okay. And there's the Runia or Stormwater, the sage of the fire temple. Who could have seen that coming? Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. Okay, thanks. By the way, I, the Wild Darunia, turned out to be the Great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Okay. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. So I get the medallion of friendship. Yay. <sighs> And we obtained the third medallion, the fire medallion, which means we're halfway, medallion-wise. Even though we need three more dungeons. But that doesn't matter. You received the fire medallion, Darunia awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours. Yay! Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. So we turned family. Dun, 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 dun. You dun, got dun, a brother! Dun. You turned family! And I'm out of here. Oh wait, now actually I'm gonna go for the double magic meter straight away. Because I should be pretty close. I got the hammer right now and the hook shots, so I should be fine. Oh wait, a little closer. Can I reach that? Yes I can. Now I'm gonna visit the fairy. Which should be somewhere up here. With the rocks, which I can smash with the hammer. You actually need to sm smash them twice. And that also makes no sense. Why can't bombs blow rocks, but hammers can? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. I guess, yeah, never question Nintendo logic. Yep. You trust me, if you're playing games like Super Paper Mario, the one I did on my um, channel, you're so gonna be confused all the time. There's so many scenes that are so wrong, not possible, and stuff. Paper Mario was amazing. True, one was amazing, two was cool. True is a bit disappointing, I must say, because it's a different strategy. I like the RPG style. Yeah, yeah, I like the uh, the turn based. Yeah, I like the turn based RPG elements in Paper yeah, Mario One and Two they, better. True, they were gone in Super Paper Mario, but the game is good as well, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm thinking of like as a as a Paper Mario game, it doesn't seem that good, but as a game by itself, it looks good. It is a good game, definitely, but it's not a Paper Mario game in my eyes. Mm. Anyways, we got twice as much magic power. Yay! When battles made you worry, please come back to see me. I know, that's what they always say. That's what she said, literally. <laughs> wow. Yeah, nice find out. Ugh, I got double magic, finally. It's, this is actually the first time where I got 60 heart containers and then double magic. I never thought I'd have that. Normally, I usually am way too impatient to get the hard pieces, so I should be at like 10 hearts right now. Normally. But okay. I need to find... So you've got um, all the hard pieces now? You only have to get the four from the last few dungeons? Yeah, I need four more. Four oh, more need. oh, you need four more. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need four more. Huh. Sure. That's right. I need to find two sculptures, which are in that mountain. And 
I believe. No, there's a chest here though. What's in this chest? Bombs. Yeah, what a surprise. But there should be two Skulltulas in Death Mountain. Is that the actual trail? I think it's the trail, not the um, not the crater. So I guess I need to get the hell out of here. Where's my? Yeah, I lost my guide it's somewhere in my room, and I can't find it. Oh wait, perhaps there's something here. No, I need to blow that up. Ugh, let's see what's gonna happen here. It is actually in a passage, but oh, there's a stupid um rock in there which you can blow up. You know, the um, Eye of Truth rocks. Blow it up! Yeah, you can actually, you can read them with the, with the Lens of Truth or you can blow them up and they will go out to like a rocket. Actually, I feel like blow, blowing one up right now. I'm so gonna do that. Let's see if it actually goes. Yeah, it's climbing down. And it's like rocket Press lift off! On. It actually exploded like a second later, which is stupid. I mean, they actually place a rock there. Oh, no, I don't want to die. Thank you. And I'm actually considering on finding those three skull trap pieces in, a lay in an off-screen session because I can't seem to find them right now. Right. And since we're at 50 minutes, I think it's enough for today. All right, sounds good. Don't you agree? Yep. So, I yeah. Um, you're going to be in the water temple? Yep. With me again, so that should be soon because I only need three skull thrusts and then it's water temple time. Okay. So I'll get those three skull thrusts off screen in the next episode, will be water temple, so. Alright, yeah. take care, everyone. This has been Link Fan Girl and Particle Wii with Ocarina Times Fire Temple. <laughs> Did you just say Fen Link Fan Girl? Fen Link Fan Girl. Did Sounds I say that? Fun. Nice. Sorry. Yeah, you, this you, is... you did say that. Uh, Alright, this is Link Fan Girl. There we go. Very good. And don't forget, guys, to answer the question which was asked in probably the, the episode before this. Like, which song is more important to you guys? Um, Zelda's Lullaby or Song of Time? So, leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'm pretty curious to see what you think. So, yeah, what I can say is thanks for watching. Sub to both channels. We would both appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys soon for the next episode of Our Queen of Time. Peace out. See you later.